the pasta army shall rise to the top, baby. We're doing the Italian campaign in Total Tank Simulator. I completely failed the German campaign. That's fine. It's fine, dude. It is fine. No one even cares. Pasha. So we're doing the Spaghetti Boy campaign. Let's see how it goes. Let's uh, do it. 1940. Is that Mussolini? Nope. It's Giovanni Messe. Our forces reached far into the northern African front, but Brits counterattacked. We are left with close to nothing. People at the top must be insane to send our men to certain death with no chance of winning. We need to hold the British offensive for as long as possible. Stakes are high, and chances close to non-existent. Okay, spaghetti man. <laughs> Alright. This is a defensive act. Okay. I feel like most acts have become defensive acts now. In most of the campaigns. You know? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. We get it, man. I played this game a time or two. I think I understand. I see the Barini. 6,000 cash limit. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Mussolini fed the Chinese men already. The pasta nation begins their fight. Very nice, okay. Uh, so these are the British, and we are, of course, in a defensive team deathmatch stance. Ooh, they got Greyhounds coming out the wazoo. They got Matildas. They've got infantry. Lots of their infantry in the front of the battlefield. Very weird. They also have bunkers. This is a weird, weird lineup. Oh, that's kind of cool. The artillery in the uh, in the sand dunes there. That's neat. I like that. Wow, the the Italians are poor. They start with, like, nothing. Wait, are there any RAF in the air? No. That's big, then. We don't even... And there are no anti-aircraft guns? Dude, we literally do not have to worry about our planes getting shot down. That's crazy. Do you know how crazy that is? That's crazy. Oh, um, we have the cool cannons. These are, like, probably my favorite cannons in the game now. They're just so cool looking, dude. They just look so pog. Actually, we should probably put them a little farther back. Probably a little farther back. Artillery! Yes! I can't... How do you do, like, an Italian accent? Fettuccine Mussolini, we do the buongiornos, yes. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sure that was horribly offensive to any Italians watching. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna plop a couple tanks at each infantry column. Hope to wipe them out nice and quick lack. That'll be nice. Be nice. And then we'll do... Couple columns of tanks there. Dotted with riflemen in between. As well as riflemen on each side. And that's our that's our battle stance right there. That's it. Alright, we'll give orders. Do we want to be aggressive? Let's be aggressive with the flanks on the infantry. Yeah, this is a good idea. This is big brain. Yeah. Cause it, it's not not a big deal. Um We're gonna defend with the rest of our boys here though. I think that's a good idea. You guys take cover, though. Yeah. Yeah. Take the cover. Bueno pasta. Okay. Parmesan. <laughs> Did you guys ever see the movie Fish Called Wanda? There's this funny part where the, the guy just quote-unquote speaks Italian, but he's really just saying, like, pasta dishes and like <laughs> any stereotypical Italian thing you could possibly think of it's it's a funny movie it's a great movie all right artillery is going in on uh, their artillery pretty hard here I think that's a that's a pretty wise choice um, and then I'd like the rest to maybe go after their tanks honestly that's not even a terrible idea all right I mean this is the best we could do right now so start the battle up baby Oh, I didn't command the dive bombers. Actually, that might not be the worst thing ever. Anyway, these these spaghetti bombers can just sort of free reign, do whatever the heck they want for the time being, and uh, it'll be fine. All right, we got our artillery firing off already. That's really nice that it's just so quick on the draw there. Uh, their artillery, of course, very quick on the draw as well. Not a great thing. No, our fettuccine Mussolini's are uh, taking a beat of a pounding, huh? Look at these Mario plumbers. Look at these Mario mustachioed plumbers out here. Looking gorgeous. Looking absolutely gorgeous, baby. Yeah. Oh, it's a line of artillery. Beautiful. Fire away, comrades. 
Commandant Spaghetti Monster, fire! <laughs> I kind of love it. I, I do think this uh, this campaign is going to be sweet. I, it took me a very long time to sort of get to the campaign here, uh, simply because I was just doing um, other campaigns. We were doing the, the German campaign. We were sort of in the midst of that. And also, then there was the uh, workshop update, which I wanted to check out and stuff like that. So there was a lot going on. Uh, and it sort of resulted in me neglecting this update for a little while and the uh, the campaign along with it. But now, now that we're doing it, I'm excited. Um, our tanks are doing surprisingly poorly against the enemy infantry. They're getting way too close. Yeah, you guys better backpedal because those grenades are coming for you. Let's see. I yeah, I wonder if they'll hit. Uh, they did actually do damage to it, but he managed to back up into the other tank enough to get away. Um, but the boys on the right over here... They got crushed by infantry. It's kind of pathetic. A little bit pathetic. How's our, uh, how's our Mussolini guns going? I think they might be doing a little bit better. These things are dope. I love this Italian, uh, artillery. Honestly, smoke artillery gang and fire artillery gang, get out of here and make way for pasta artillery gang, because it is way better. Way better. Is it me, or are the Italian tanks really small? Like, really small compared to the infantry. Is that just me? Like, size wise, the tanks are minuscule to the infantry. Are the British tanks that way? I mean, British tanks are fairly chonky. I don't see any British infantry to compare them with, but, like, they're fairly large. I don't know, man. That's weird. Uh, I think our planes are honestly putting in some work, to be honest. Uh, they're sort of soaring around in the sky doing doing what they do best, and it's it's kind of working for us. I gotta, gotta say I'm happy with their performance currently. Um, I will command a couple of pasta boys here. See if we can't uh, get some good hits on these things. Just one more. Oh! We got another, but we didn't manage to get the kill there. All right, Busta boy. We go off. We go off. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh wow, they have a they have a long reload time. Wow. The British have pull volt uh pull bolts too, but uh, you don't see them having to actually pull them back with the Lee Enfields. There's just rapid fire off in this game. Unless they patch that. They might have patched it. Maybe the Italians are a little bit more powerful, though. They'd need to balance that in some way. I don't know. I know Plastic Scott uh, recently figured out how to balance this game and actually, like, went all in on balancing it and, and created, um, you know, factions that actually, you know, <laughs> are a little bit more fair and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited to see what he ends up doing with that. Um, because, to be quite honest, this game in general, fairly unbalanced. <laughs> A lot of the units, man, oh my god, they are brutal. Like, artillery and planes can literally win games and, and just tread all over tanks. Not to mention, infantry is maybe a little too powerful. But, um, yeah, there, there could definitely be some better balancing in this game. Look how small this tank is compared to that British soldier. It's minuscule. What is up with that? That's so weird, right? It's not just me, I think. That was like a that was like a tiny tank. They're tiny, and I'm assuming it fits like three or four tank crewmen, right? That's insane. They're such small boys. Very small. Insignificant, really, in the grand scheme of things. Tiny. <laughs> Very small. All right. Well, there we go. An easy first little dub ski right there in CD. Barini. Uh, we spent 6,000, we got 9,600. That's a net gain right there. That's what we call a one-two punch. Get rolled. Um, we also got 900 research points. Let's check out what we can buy. What's the next? Bardia. Tobruk! I thought the Tobruk was the Germans and the English. Am I wrong? I don't know. I might be. Um, all right. I don't know what the... Does, if you guys can comment down below what the uh, the main weapon for the Italians is, that would be super helpful because I don't currently know what their strong suit is, you know? I could see it being artillery, you know? I might, I might upgrade the artillery. 
Artillery is a little overpowered in this game, so it's a good thing to upgrade. Oh, we could get Nebelwürfers in the first tech tree? That's insane. That is OP. Holy cow. Um, Alright, we should probably get another tank. Our small boy tanks are a little eh. Yeah, we'll buy a tank. Can we get infantry? Ooh, we can get... We can get SMGs and anti-tank rifles right off the bat. Yes, please. That's insane. Why is Italy so OP in terms of their their tech? Maybe that's their benefit. Maybe that's their thing. I don't know. We should also probably recruit one of these guys, right? Oh, let's get this guy. He's a beast. And he's cheap, too. I like that. Uh, no, nah, we're not going to get him the Kubelwagen yet. We'll get that later on. He looks so... Oh, look, his eyes follow my mouse. Eww. Creepy. No, Norberto Uno. <laughs> okay, Norberto. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it. A good start to the Italian campaign. Let me know if you'd like to see more episodes of it in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to smash that like button. I'll see you all guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.